Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to do a video on movies I've picked up. Um, it's been a few months, but just um, went a few months in around like October, November where I really wasn't finding it much. Um, but I've accumulated a good amount to make a mo uh, movie, uh, a video. Um, these are all DVDs that I found at the pawn shop I like to go to. Um, I don't think I've found any other movies anywhere else except for this one pawn shop I go to. Uh, sometimes they charge me more, sometimes they charge me less. Usually, I always have been lucky enough to get four for a dollar. So, like, 25 cents for a movie. Um, so, that's pretty much what I have here. Except for, I think, two movies that I bought brand new around Black Friday. Because I just really wanted to watch them. Uh, so, I picked up Breakfast Club. Um, and I haven't seen this in a long time. Um, definitely wouldn't mind watching it again. Um, a movie that I did not know existed, uh, a movie called Timeline, and, uh, a, I don't really know much about it. I didn't really look much up about it when I bought it, but, um, I just figured for a quarter it might be worth a little bit of time. If it turns out to be bad, I'll just not watch it. Uh, this is one of the movies I bought um, for Black Friday. I think I paid about two ninety nine or three ninety nine. Uh, I think it might have been two something because that was I got it at Walmart and they had um, a bunch of good movies that were not expensive at all. Um, but I really like this movie and I'm. For three bucks, it was worth it. I'll probably end up finding it more in the future because it, it probably sold pretty well. And then the other movie, didn't know I had them back to back. The other movie I bought um, on Black Friday, I think I might have paid, this was around four or five dollars, uh, John Wick 2. I like this, but I like the first one better. I, I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are like that too, but... Um, it just it, you can kind of tell with the second the sequel that it's just like uh, all they're obsessed with is creating a character that just is all about killing lots of people and it's like um i i wish that they would i know they're making a third one i think i wish they would like kind of hint at like what is his motivation to uh like be doing what he's doing which is basically I think that they kind of they kind of hinted it that he would be like trying to survive in, for the third one because there's uh, people that are out to get him. Um, but anyway, first one I think is better. Uh, I was really excited to see this. Um, I haven't seen this in a long time, but this is definitely high up on my list of like movies that I, I was really hoping I'd find. And for like a quarter, this is awesome. Uh, if you're not really familiar with the Aliens series, this is the this is the movie that's got the uh, Colonial Marines, and um, it's just I, I like this one better than the first one. This is like one of the few movies in movie history that I think is the sequel is better than the original. I mean, I thought the original is really good too, but this is top notch. Uh, the only other movie I can really think of that's like that, maybe people might not agree with me, but like maybe. Terminator 2 might be better than Terminator 1. It's hard to say, though. I uh, found this today. Again, 25 cents. Olympus Has Fallen. I watched this a few years ago, and I liked it a lot. Um, this was like the last really good, solid movie with him, uh, Gerard Butler, as just a, like, a, like a solid action hero. And uh, just, it's just a good movie um, where I think Aaron Eckhart is the president. And I can't remember how Morgan Freeman's involved. I think he might be in the administration or something like that. Has to do with um, him being president. And I can't remember if there was a, if this was a sequel. If this was like the second of the two, I can't remember. I think it might be. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, excited to see this. Uh, I almost bought this for ten bucks on Amazon. Uh, but for a quarter, I was like, "Yes, please." They don't they don't differentiate between, you know, like there's four movies in here that's still a quarter, because uh, they just don't care. Because DVDs they don't care about, but like Blu-rays they obviously do. 
Um, so for 25 cents, I got four of the Die Hard movies. Uh, I think when I find versions like this, then I try to consolidate, and then I try to uh, get rid of the other ones I have, as long as the discs work for like something like this. But I have, um, I think I have Die Hard 2... Three and then the Live Free or Die Hard movie. I don't have the one after that, and now I do. I, I really wanted this for the first one. I haven't seen the first one in probably like 15 years, and that's probably the best one. Although I like all of them are very good. John McClane's a, a really awesome character. Uh, I was really excited when I saw this. This is another movie that I, I've been like just hoping I would come across at some point. I haven't seen this in probably 20 years. And uh, there's so many good lines in this movie. Uh, I just, I can't wait to watch it again. It'll be good. And then again, another movie I found for a quarter is uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Rest in peace, uh, Mr. Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace. Uh, I, I know the first one a good bit more than the second one. I know that they made at least two. I don't really, I can't really tell them apart to be honest with you, but, um, this is a classic, classic man's movie, man movie right here, but, uh, it looks almost as if somebody bought it and didn't even, didn't even watch it, and then they took it to the pawn shop, and I got it for a quarter, got a few more movies here, I need to keep going, uh, The Quick and the Dead, good movie, uh, I watched this back in the fall, uh, I've never seen this before, but I wanted to pick it up for a quarter. The Ides of March with uh, George Clooney and Gosling. Haven't seen this in a long time, but I knew it was good. I liked it when I did originally watch it. Um, it's called Breach. Um, a movie that my brother used to always swear by called Layer Cake. Uh, I can't remember if Guy Ritchie made this or who's involved, but I just know that when Daniel Craig made this movie that kind of um, solidified his um, ability to become James Bond, basically proving that he could he could do the role, apparently. Uh, another movie that I picked up that I've heard really good things about is this Vince Vaughn movie called Brawl and Cell Block 99. Um, definitely kind of like a departure of his uh, typical characters that he does, so much more like serious role. Uh, but I was I was surprised to find that, especially to pick that up for like a quarter. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get organized here. Uh, Legend of the Fall. I know it's kind of a a cheesy love story type of movie, but I know there's some cool stuff in there, especially about World War One. I, I think is in, is in that movie, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm trying to stick with certain actors as far as picking up movies, and this is a Bruce Will Willis triple triple pack. Uh, Twelve Monkeys, uh, Mercury Rising. I'm not really familiar with that movie, and then Jackal, the Jackal I've seen before. I don't really remember the uh, Twelve Monkeys. I actually wouldn't mind watching that because I know that that's got Brad Pitt in, in it. Uh, I picked up the Star Trek. Uh, Reimagined version of Star Trek. I never stuck with the other ones beyond this. I like this one. Um, so when I saw it for a quarter, I'll pick it up. Probably will watch it again. Uh, Lord of War. I never saw that before, but I, I thought it might be interesting to watch. Amityville Horror. A really good uh, Ryan Reynolds movie. Uh, the first Iron Man really solid movie that I remember when it came out and I was really uh, impressed with it was The Hurt Locker and how many awards it won was really impressive too. Uh, trying to look for more Kurt Russell movies and I remember this movie, this was an 80s, 80s comedy, rom-com. Uh, I, I just always remember how funny this was that like his like dream was to make like a, a miniature golf course and then like kind of sit back on, on the easy life with, with being like a miniature golf course owner. Uh, he was like a, like a carpenter handyman type of guy, but I don't know. It, it was just a decent movie. And then lastly, um, I picked up the original mission impossible, 
which is just a standalone version, which is kind of kind of neat to see. Those are the movies I picked up. Real excited about Major Pain, the uh, Aliens movie, uh, Die Hard, and uh, some of the other ones I have in there too. So let me know what you think. Those are my movies that I picked up. Uh, let me know if you found any good movies lately that you uh, would recommend. And uh, yeah, later.